everybody, it's Lynn from Lynn's Crafts. I'm sorry you haven't seen a video from me for a couple of weeks. Um, my husband always gets uh, two weeks off at the end of the year, and <laughs> I don't do videos when he's home. He would have to be the center of attention, and I just couldn't tolerate that. One of the things I did over the holidays is I made um, pins. My family has a tradition um, that my grandfather started over 40 years ago that he did uh, pins or pendants. He was a wood carver. And so he did pins or pendants for everybody for Christmas. This was my mold, or the one that I made a mold from. And this is one of the ones that I molded. This is the one I did for myself. And this is a cold cast piece. And it's cold cast nickel silver. And I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be trying to do a tutorial on doing some cold casting over this next year so stay tuned for that I'll try to put a still somewhere around here of all the pins that I did or you can just check out my blog um, to see the posting that I did for amazing mold putty um, amazing casting products All right, and this is another piece I did. I also did this for an Amazing Casting Products uh, post. It's a resin arrowhead blade and a polymer clay handle. I think this was such fun. This is actually from a mold of an arrowhead that I have, a spearhead that's broken and I did a casting and did some repair work on it to extend it, extend its length. All right. All right, so you know how when you do something new, <laughs> you can get a little carried away. So this is a pendant piece that I did with just some clear cast, some amazing clear cast. And the polymer clay little fox with feathers. So cute. Alright, and then here's another pendant that I did. And I absolutely love this one. It's also a resin arrowhead that I did. And then I did some painting on it. It's a resin turtle. Alright. Super cute. Alright, and then there's this small knife. Resin arrowhead and the polymer clay handle again. A little polymer clay swirl bead. I said I got carried away. I'm sorry. <laughs> and then there's this one. The blade, this time I put some embossing powder on to make it look a little more like stone. This was actually the first um, casting that I did from the mold that I made of my original. And it's before I extended the length, so that's why it's shorter. And I made a little tooth. A little wheel top design. And then just a piece with the trees. Right. Just some little home decor type pieces. Alright, then here's another one. Again, I just went with the clear um, blade and a faux bone top handle. Some little turquoise beads that I got in a rack from a friend. And they were the perfect touch for this piece. 
And then I made a little faux jade fish. He's so cute. Alright, and here's another one that I did with blue in the hat in the blade and I love this love it two more of the faux turquoise top beads and a polymer clay faux bone handle again I had such fun making these that I just couldn't stop myself <laughs> all right and then this is the last one of these and probably my favorite. I don't know why. <laughs> I guess because it looks like a shark's tooth. And this one, I did not glaze the blade when I was done. I just left it the matte color that it that it originally was. Alright, and again, it's got a wheel. And a piece of uh, yeah. <laughs> Alright. Alright, and these are just two of the smaller arrowheads that I made molds of. And the other pieces were found near my home. This piece, um, my grandfather actually found years and years ago, but it was actually near where we live. So. Alright, and now to get back to what I normally do. This goddess was done with um, some Primo White with some hot fix rhinestones and this is a resin geode that I made a mold of right. and I'm sorry if I've shown this one before it's been a while this piece that I did with the swellagant and this piece is all polymer clay hooray and it's got a faux C it's got a CZ in the middle of the rose and a piece of garnet in her headband all right and then this piece is the one that I did I did some faux kyanite um, from two pieces of petrified wood that I found in the yard. I made a mold of them. Molded these two pieces of faux kyanite. And of course you can mold them in many colors and make all kinds of um, faux effects. Alright, I love this piece. She's so sweet and pretty. Just to give you an example, this is also made from that same mold. And so is this. And this piece is cold cast aluminum. Alright, and then last but not least is this pretty piece. She's got some adventuring nuggets for her ears for her earrings and her headband <gasps> ah. and then this piece is like a faux emerald I don't know if you can see through it but it actually is see through that I did with another piece of um, petrified wood that I molded alright all right, I've got a lot more um, to come and a lot more to share. Um, you can join me over on Facebook if you're on Facebook. 
Uh, I share a lot of things on there first before I share them on video. So if you're interested in getting sneak peeks of, of things that I'm up to, um, like I said, join me there um, or on my blog. And I have an Etsy shop that you can check out also. All right. Welcome to all my new subscribers. I'm super excited about this new year coming up. It's going to be great. All right. I've got a lots of lots of good things coming up. All right. So stay tuned. I'm going to be working on some altered bottles as well. All right. So I shall holler at everybody later. Bye now.